find the value of x if 4 raised to power s plus 16 raised to power s is equal to 272 then s is equal to what hi everyone welcome to my class in today's class we want to look at how we can find the value of x from this given exponential equation but before i proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more new videos thank you solution We have 4 raised to the power x plus 16 raised to the power s is equal to 272. This can be expressed as 4 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power 2, that is 4 square raised to the power x is equal to 272. But note that if you have a raised to the power n, raised to power m is the same thing as a raised to power n m then we have this this imply that 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power s square is equal to 272 this imply that we have 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power s square minus 272 is equal to 0. Let 4 raised to power s is equal to y. That is, anywhere you see 4 raised to power s, you put y there. But let's rearrange this first. This can be rewrite at 4 raised to power s square plus 4 raised to power x minus 272 is equal to 0. Now substitute anywhere you see 4 raised to power s, just put y there. This implies that we have y square plus y minus 272 is equal to 0. But 272, 272 is equal to 16 times 70. We want to factorize this. This implies that we have y square, 27, y square, then here we have the two, if you multiply the two together, it must give you this 272 then if you have together you get this plus y so we have minus 16 times 70 it will give you minus 272 minus 16 plus 17 it will give you plus 1 then this implies that we have y square minus this is minus minus 16y plus 17y minus 272 is equal to 0. Then we factorize this, and this is what we get. That is, if you multiply 16 times 17, it must give you 272. Then minus 16 times 17, you have minus 272. Minus 16 plus 70 is 1, which is plus y. That is why we are having y square minus 16y plus 17y, then minus 272 is equal to 0. This implies that we have y into y minus 16 plus 17 into y minus 16 is equal to 0. Good. We have y minus 16 here and y minus 16 here, y here and 17 here. This implies that we have y plus 17 is equal to 0 or y minus 16 is equal to 0. Those are the two cases. This implies that from y plus 17 is equal to 0. We have y plus 17 is equal to 0. 
Therefore, y will be equal to, if plus cross the other side, it becomes minus, minus 17. Also, let's look at this. y, also y minus 16 is equal to 0. Therefore, y will be equal to, if we minus cross the other side, it will become 16 plus 16. But we said 4 is to power s is equal to what y. Then, and our y is equal to 16 and minus 17. This implies that we have 4 is to power s is equal to minus 17 from here. Then let's look at the second case. We have y is equal to 16. That is y is equal to 16. This implies that we have 4 is to power s is equal to 16. This is the second case. But from this place, 4 is to power s is equal to minus 17. Here, no solution because it cannot take negative. No solution. Then we consider 4 is to power s is equal to 16. This implies that we have 4 is to power s to be equal to 16. This can be expressed as 4 is to power s is equal to 4 square. Then they have the same base. This one will cancel this. s is equal to 2. Therefore, our answer is S is equal to 2. Thank you. Let's check to confirm our answer. We said 4 raised to power X plus 16 raised to power X must be equal to 272. This implies that we said S is equal to 2. Then we have 4 square plus 16 square must be equal to what? 272. Then we have 4 square is 16 plus 16 square is 256. 256. Then 256 plus 16 is equal to what? 272. So meaning that our answer is very, very correct. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.